Hi, I'm Susan Keefe from Rhubarb and Cod, and today I'm making apple spice cheesecake. This is the cheesecake equivalent of an apple pie, complete with saucy apples and warm notes of cardamom, cinnamon, and ginger. The cake itself is a New York style cheesecake, which I like for <laughs> any texture. <laughs> Why do you have to eat when mom's doing stuff? Hmm? The cake itself is a New York style cheesecake, which I like for its velvety texture and blank slate status. You can easily alter every layer of a New York style cheesecake to suit the time of year, your tastes, and or moods. So let's get into this. Start by filling a large roasting pan with two inches of water. Make sure a nine inch springform pan can fit comfortably in the center. Place the roasting pan in the oven and preheat to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Wrap the base of a springform pan in tin foil and click it back into place. Grease the sides of the pan with butter and set aside. In a large bowl, whisk to combine two and a quarter cups of graham cracker crumbs, one teaspoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, three quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom, quarter teaspoon of mace, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Pour half a cup plus two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter over the graham cracker crumb mixture. Stir until the mixture resembles wet sand. Press the crumb mixture into to the base and up the sides of your prepared springform pan. Set aside. Place four 250 gram packages of softened cream cheese in the bowl of a stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment. Alternatively, you could use a hand mixer for this. Add half a cup of room temperature Greek yogurt, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a quarter teaspoon of salt to the bowl. Beat until no lumps remain, scraping down the sides of the bowl occasionally. When the cream cheese mixture is smooth, add one and a quarter cup of granulated sugar and beat until well integrated. Take the mixing bowl off of the mixer and place a fine mesh strainer over top. Crack five room temperature eggs into the strainer and whisk until only the membranes remain. Discard. Return the bowl to the mixer and beat the eggs into the cream cheese mixture until well integrated. Pour the finished batter into the graham cracker crust and break any air bubbles that form on the surface using a toothpick. Place the cheesecake in the center of the water bath and bake for 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes have passed, turn the oven off and leave the oven door ajar for 10 minutes. Close the door and set the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake the cake for 50 to 60 minutes or until the internal temperature at the center of the cake registers 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Transfer the cake to a cooling rack, preferably without hitting the top of the oven door. I can't begin to tell you how devastating that was. If you do somehow mar your cake while moving it from the oven to the cooling rack, don't panic. The sauteed apples will cover any lumps, bumps, or tears along the way. Let the cake cool in the pan for one hour, then remove the outer ring and let it cool for four hours more before transferring to the fridge and chilling it overnight. The next day, peel, core, and slice five apples. I use russet, but you can use whatever variety of apple you fancy. Melt a quarter cup of unsalted butter in a large skillet. Add the apples and saute briefly over medium heat. You're more or less just coating the apples in the butter. Add two ounces of Calvados, a French apple brandy. You can use regular brandy as well. Add half a cup of water, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce to a simmer. Cover and let cook for 10 minutes or until the apples are tender and the liquid has been reduced. Whisk to combine two teaspoons of cornstarch and a tablespoon of water to form a slurry. Take the cover off of the apples and pour in the cornstarch mixture. Stir until the liquid thickens and becomes glossy. Transfer the apples to a bowl and set aside to cool. Let cool for 30 minutes before spooning over the chilled cheesecake and serving immediately. And that's it, a festive, cozy dessert that everyone will love except the lactose intolerant. I hope you give this one a shot. And if you do, let me know how it went in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for baking with me. I'll see you again next time.